You can combine multiple characters together in your AI videos now using this brand new elements update in Kling AI. All you need to do is upload images of your character. For example, this blue woman, the green orc, and a background with crystals in it. And the AI puts them all together inside a video for you. You can combine all sorts of different characters, objects, environments to tell your AI stories or show off your fashion designs on a model. I'll show you how to get the best results with this new feature update and create AI videos of anything you can imagine. To use this feature in Kling, we'll start by heading to the AI video interface. Then you'll need to go to the image to video tab and find this new elements. You can upload up to four different images here and Kling combines the elements from each individual image together. So I have this female character and a crystal background. I want to put her inside. Let's upload the different images I've got a bunch of examples prepared here that we'll go through. Then in the prompt, put down what's going on. Make sure you tell the AI what each element places inside the final video. So in this case, the woman with the blue skin walks through the landscape with crystals. If we generate the video, the AI combines the elements from our images together. The amount of details it captures really is incredible. The background looks almost identical. The shapes of the individual crystals are accurate. And the woman's face and her clothing are extremely detailed, with the small markings on her face accurately transferred over. We can add in additional characters. This time I put an orc walking with her. The clothing, accessories all look the same to me. Maybe a few minor details are different here and there, but it's amazing how much it gets right. Now, when you're creating multiple characters, there are limits to what it can do. The more complex the interactions between the characters are, the more the AI struggles. So if I prompt for them to be dancing together, the bodies start warping and combine together. Same thing happens for other complex interactions like fighting. The AI is not quite there yet and gets confused. You can keep adding in more characters. I tried all the way up to four. So here I'm putting three characters, the woman, the orc, and the guy wearing the black cloak. And you'll see them starting to morph together. The blue woman's head gets put on the muscular orc's body. For four characters, I added in this white alien guy. Three of them are rendered in the video, but we're missing the alien. Also, if you look carefully at the guy in the middle, he's wearing the same kilt as the orc instead of his black pants. It basically gets confused if you try too many characters and their identities get mixed up with each other. But overall, this works really well with two characters. I mean, the faces look exactly the same as the photos. You can combine much more than just characters though. For example, adding vehicles into the shot. I put the white alien on top of this motorcycle inside the landscape with blue crystals. You can also have your characters holding objects like this goblin inspecting his blue crystal sword. Pay attention right now. Your prompts really do matter when getting the most accurate depictions of your characters. So I'm using this image of a boy and a zebra to make the boy ride the animal. Look carefully and you'll see the zebra has some horns on its head. If I generated the video with a prompt like, the boy's riding the zebra with horns, that's not strong enough of a prompt to actually put horns on the zebra, since the data the AI is trained on probably has never seen a zebra with horns on it. So instead, I need a much stronger prompt that puts more emphasis on the horns. The boy is riding the zebra with large horns on its head. And that's enough for me to get a proper video. For fashion videos, you can make your characters try on different clothing and attire. I've got her wearing a colorful abstract jacket, the camel pants, and pastel sneakers. The patterns on the jacket look exactly the same as the picture I uploaded, which did have some pretty complex geometric patterns on it. If you want more of the full body displayed in the video though, I'd recommend using the 9 to 16 aspect ratio when generating the images. That way, more of the character's entire body will be showing. Here's an important tip. Notice how the neck area on the blouse in the video is not exactly as the same as the image as I uploaded. In the image of the orange blouse, there's a tie around the neck area, which is covered up. But in the video, it shows her wearing a blouse with the neck area shown, and she's got this gold necklace on. To fix this, you need to make sure you don't have elements inside the image that you don't want to be shown in the final video. So in my original image, it shows her wearing a necklace around the neck. And on the right, I've cropped the image to only show her face. Then when I generate her wearing the clothing again, the AI renders the fabric around the neck area properly, just like it shows in the original picture. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, it's not great at anime style videos. It seems to turn the anime characters into 3D graphics. You can see how her torso doesn't have the 2D look and appears like a video game character from GTA or something like that. So for 2D illustrations, this feature might not be that effective. If you want to learn how to prompt for the most cinematic looking videos inside Kling AI, go take a look at this tutorial right here.